Hi, this is Thea, and today I have my first video, so I will be picking the first lock I ever picked. I picked this first when I was 13 years old with improvised tools. I used a screwdriver and a bent wire. And this is a 30 millimeter padlock with a cable hasp. Its intended use is as a gun lock, but I would strongly recommend against that for reasons that you'll see shortly. It can be startled open. This really is not much of a lock. So what I'll be using today is a tensioner, top of the keyway, 32 thousandths of an inch thick, and it is bent for ergonomic purposes. So that's always nice. And I will be using the standard hook and 25 thousandths from Peterson. And just so that you know, it's actually locked. And I will be linking both of these tools in the description in case you are interested. So get that in there for the top of the keyway. And then starting out with pin one, got a little bit of a click out of that. Nothing from two. And there's three and it's open. This is a four pin lock, but the fourth pin is for whatever reason not used. Either the pins are just right so that it's already at the shear line or it's just garbage. But <laughs> in the spirit of the original picking, I will also be doing this with an improvised tool since that took basically no time. This is a section of dryer hose that I cut off, the dryer vent hose, and then I just bent the tip so that it can be used as a pig. I was originally going to use a screwdriver, but that got in the way of the video too much, so I will be using the same tensioner that I used with the actual pig. So get that in there, and then Maneuver this around the lock, which is a slight challenge. It's a little thicker than I would like to use, but with improvised tools, what can you do? And you don't even really have to be very specific with where you're going, just kind of go for it. and it is open. Just open that the rest of the way, and there we go. So if you like that video, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with more, and if you have something you'd like to comment about it, go ahead and put your comment below. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.